The Golden Bear from Tigerland, also known as Tiger Band, is a 325 piece group comprised of Golden Girls, Color Guard, musicians, and one infamous drum major. Tiger Band has been invited and performed at hundreds of events over the years, and 2019 marks a 125 year milestone of beautiful music, school spirit, blessing Louisiana State University's historical campus. But Tiger Band isn't just a one hour credit class for these students. Tiger Band is a family away from home for most of its members. The family concept isn't hard to imagine when you consider all the countless hours band members have to be together. To join this family, there are a few simple requirements. Yeah. But all a student, you know, to get past the first round of the audition is just um, perform a chromatic scale, an etude, which is something they could perform like when they audition for like region or honor bands, or it could be something they perform in a solo ensemble capacity. And then they just have to pass on like a grade three sight reading. And by grade three, I'm referring to in music, we have like grades one through six, six being like the most difficult one being like something very, very, very basic, like the ABCs, if you will. Yeah. Something around that two, three level, you sight read that. And then from there, you pass the first round. Basically, you can read music in a sense, and you can produce a quality sound of your instrument. And then from there, students get to the second round of Tiger Band. There is a marching component to the audition as well, the second part of the audition. But to be honest, the audition rubric is like 92% weighted musically, 8% weighted marching. Being in Tiger Band isn't just all fun and football games. You have to physically push yourself to perform perfect shows in front of 103,000 fans on a hot Louisiana Saturday night. It made me want to get more in shape. Because coming here, I had never been pushed that far in marching band before. We just did one show the whole season. It was just straightforward. You did what you did, then you left here. It felt like it almost became like a lifestyle fall semester. It was so time consuming. So um, it it changed my perception of just like you have to do more than running. You have to train yourself to breathe. You have to train yourself to just change to the environment. Plus, Louisiana is totally different from Oklahoma's environment where it's way more humid. So I just, I started focusing more on my physical condition because I noticed that for, it took me a while. Skill, determination, and a love for your school are what it takes to thrive. For a lot of these members, they have started learning and specializing their craft in middle school and never stopped. Yeah, I started Color Guard in sixth grade at my um, middle school, and then I did it all throughout high school until college. I didn't start color guard until 11th, uh, no, 10th grade of high school. So I was a sophomore in high school. When asked why most of the band members remained involved in the program all these years, many mentioned their lasting friendships. Making memories, having common interests, and having a love for what you do makes it easy to develop strong, meaningful connections with others. I don't know, to me it was kind of like a no-brainer. I had friends in Tiger Band that I knew from drum corps. And then like, again, like my best friend, one well, of my best friends, Scott, was already in the ensemble. And he definitely pushed for us to do it, but I was already very convinced to do it. And it's just been such an honor and a blessing to like be with this ensemble and not only like be a member, but to be like a section leader and where I'm going into my third year. Once Jade became comfortable with the physical aspects of Tiger Band, she was able to build a special bond within the telephone section. At first, when we all didn't really know each other, it was quite competitive. So most of us, we were scared that one of us was gonna get cut going into band camp, because there were so many of us. And like we were worried like, oh wait, there's we're probably gonna cut like four or five of us. So it was really competitive. We all weren't sure if we were wanting to get close to each other without that fear of losing that. Um, but after we all made it, no one got cut. Um, it really changed into like a family. We have our disagreements and we have our moments where, you know, stuff pops up. And now I say that we are definitely like a whole family just coming from different places and different mindsets. Another great way to start developing strong connections with bandmates, not specifically in your section, is to become a brother in Kappa Kappa Psi. So Kappa Kappa Psi is a National Honorary Band Service Fraternity. And um, that's like the official thing for it. <clears throat> and um, basically, I mean, what we do, we just kind of do some different service projects for the bands. Like um, 
And it's like, not just like Tiger Band, but it's like the whole band department. Tiger Band, I also enjoyed the experience of joining their, uh, the band fraternity, which was Kappa Kappa Psi, and, and doing a lot of activities with them and meeting people within that organization. So it allowed me not just to meet people um, within Tiger Band and get to know different people, but also to, to gain a little bit more intimate experience with some of the uh, fellow Tiger Band members to join Kappa Kappa Psi and become even closer. Tiger Band is proud of their past so much that they host an alumni game every year. Since Mr. Hedrick's graduation from LSU, he has performed nearly 15 different shows in Death Valley. At one time, I was a purchasing agent for a large company, and one of the guys walked in, a salesman walked in, and we were talking and all, and he said, oh, you're an LSU fan? I said, yeah. I said, I was in a Tiger Band. He goes, ah, oh, I was a football player. And he goes, I'm jealous. I said, what are you talking about? And he goes... I played football. I got to play on that field. He said, but unless I pay a lot of money, I'll never be able to get to go back on that field again. Whereas every year, as an alumnus, you get to go back on that field. I mean, this guy was a really big guy. You could tell he was a football player. So it was kind of kind of an honor to, to realize that. And it was, I was, I was younger. I, you know, it was probably about 15 years ago. So, um, but but it's always been an honor to be able to go back on that field, to play pregame, to hear the fans clap and cheer. And then um, last year, my son uh, was a freshman in the Tiger Band. So being able to stand within a couple of feet of my son, but, but to be able to stand on the same field as my best friend, my son, on that field, to feel that um, exuberance to be part of Tiger Band and the Tiger fan. If you think Tiger Band has a lot of benefits now, once members graduate and leave campus, they manage to always become successful with their various aspects of their lives. Dr. Jones is also an alum of Tiger Band, and he knows from experience that having made his friends while in school meant a lifelong bond. I have friends now, really close friends, we talk like daily. Doctor, lawyer, principal, manager in Nissan, um, engineer, he won Engineer of the Year Award three years ago, got honored in Washington. Two college professors. All different fields, we were just all in band together at the same time. Yeah. You know, and we have that common bond, and we just kind of built this just brotherhood, if you will, um, to where it's like, hey, I'm going to Atlanta Super Bowl, can I stay at your house? Oh, no problem. You know, I, my, me, my dad, my uncle, you know, he was okay with that because we had this connection. Like, we were just, we call it, we just tight. You know? After speaking with many members of Tiger Band, they all seem to agree on the notion that their lives would be completely different if they did not join Tiger Band. I came and think, oh, like maybe I'm not gonna fit in. Maybe I'm not physically ready for this. You know, not mentally ready for this. And then when I got here and I saw how supporting everyone is, plus with like out of state students that are third and fourth years now, I learned from them, you know, they just, what they told me and what I would say to them now, being a first year, you know, be considered a veteran, you know, down the road, I guess. Um, I would say, you know, keep an open mind, just be ready, you know, to push yourself some. But also, you know, you always want to have fun with it. You always just want to enjoy the moment because it goes by so fast. In all of my interviews, I asked the same question. Where do you think you would be without Tiger Band? And I practically got the same five answers. I would be bored. I wouldn't have as near as many friends as I do now. I every almost everyone I've gotten close to in college has been through Color Guard and through Tiger Band. So I wouldn't have those bonds and I wouldn't really have anything to do. I don't think I would have stayed at LSU. I think I would have broke and gone back to my hometown college because I've just found like such close knit group of friends who don't go out and party all the time. Like we actually just do regular friend things instead of some other like college kids who just party all the time. With the Golden Band from Tigerland's strong legacy and bright future, we can only imagine the upcoming achievements for every member to come. I know for a fact that being in Tiger Band changes your entire college experience. This band is filled with a diverse group of talented individuals willing to connect through the universal language of music. You may think you could get this at any other band, 
but Tiger Band produces lasting friendships that turn into a family for those who get in. Personally, being a member has significantly changed my life. I know I wouldn't have stayed at LSU if I didn't make the band and the connections that I have. What group will you be a part of in college that would do the same?